All right, so there was a question from the group about um, the, note, the notes on PVA, uh, about question E. I have a picture of basically the general problem, but I don't have a picture of question E here. Um, question E was asking at what times, or at what values of T does the particle change direction? So when does the particle change direction? So, in order to understand this, we really want to think about what it means to change direction. So, I want you to imagine um, that somebody is actually, like, walking, okay? Instead of a particle, think about it as a person walking. I want you to play kind of the movie in your head. I want you to think about this person walking and then them changing directions. What do you notice is different? When they change directions, what's really happening Okay. So when they're changing directions, what's really happening? And I'm sure for most of us, we're thinking of, um, of them turning around, uh, or we're thinking about the person's walking to the right, and then all of a sudden they're walking to the left. And um, so instead of moving in a positive direction, they're now moving in the opposite direction. And so when we think about this, Really, if we're looking at a graph of position versus time, you know, and maybe I don't know what the graph of this one looks like, but if we're looking at a graph of position versus time, when is the particle here changing directions from moving in one way to moving in the opposite way? And if we look, the particle here is moving in one direction so maybe it's moving in the positive direction as time goes on but then right in here the particles moving in the negative direction as time goes on so that's really showing us a direction change in other words it's one of those turning points so we're really looking for these spots here so really we want to know when is when is the velocity switching from positive to negative, or when is the velocity switching from negative to positive, if we think about it as like, you know, they're moving one way and now they're moving the other. So really we want to figure out when the velocity is switching signs, or when velocity goes from positive to negative, or negative to positive. And so <clears throat> we're really looking then, if we think about it, well... Think about it. What are we really looking for then? We are looking for the critical values. Now, we're obviously going to have to check and make sure that each critical value the direction change really does occur. Um, you know, we want to make sure that it's not just kind of a, a saddle point, but... So anyway, in order to do this, we're really going to need to find the velocity function. So we have the we have the position function right there. So we really want to take the derivative of that with respect to time. So s prime of t equals, and this one is a pretty nice one, 2t subtract 4. And then we're interested in when is this going to be equal to zero. It's never undefined. Okay. And so I'm just going to go ahead and solve that. And when we do, we get t equals two. Now we know that if we're, if we're thinking about this, this time of two, what does that really mean? Well, this is when the, the derivative here is equal to zero. Or in other words, it's when the, the derivative, which is the velocity, is really equal to zero. So this is a time when the velocity is zero.
Now we just need to make sure that at this time, you know, because the velocity could have been positive before and then hit zero and then positive after. And so it really wouldn't have changed directions. The person would have just kind of stopped for a second. If you play that movie, like they're walking to the right, they stop and then they're walking to the right again. We want to make sure that didn't happen. So we want to make sure that the, they were actually walking to the right, you know, in a positive direction stopped and then are now walking in a negative direction. So I'm just going to use the first derivative test idea. So when we look at this I have a, a t value and a, a t value of 2 and then I'm going to use a different color for s prime. If I plug in a value of 0 into my velocity function I would get 2 times 0 minus 4. 2 times 0 minus 4 is going to be negative. So I know it's negative. I know the velocity is negative at a time of 0. And then if I plug in something like 10, because it's on the right side, I like 10, it's a nice number, uh, I would get 2 times 10, which is 20 minus 4 is 16, and that's positive. Which means at a time of 2, the velocity went from being negative, or the person moving leftward, to the velocity is now positive. So that means that the particle changed directions at a time of 2. Anyway, hope this helps. Um, notice the big the big piece is just really analyze, analyze, analyze. Um, notice this kind of whole like thinking about the graph idea right here can really help you playing the movie, thinking about the, what the situation looks like. Uh, just that idea of synonyms is really going to be a help. So anyway, have a great weekend. Bye.